Good morning, guys. Wednesday, January the 20th, and we are in the field plowing, as you can see behind me. We're knocking down beds. This particular field was bedded for several years. Anyway, we're knocking the beds down, and we're going to flat plant it. Uh, it's not necessary to have beds in this field, so uh, we are smoothing it out. And I'll have Mark come behind me with the rolling basket and run over it. I know one time, maybe twice, to, to really bust up the clods a little more and make it look real pretty. And then it'll be ready to plant. So, that is what we're doing today right now. So, hope y'all enjoy the video and uh, come along with us. I got through with the two fields that I was doing, got over it one time, um, then Josh, he just got over there with his tractor, and he's got the J&M rolling basket behind his, and so he's gotten started on the first field, uh, coming behind me, and he's just smoothing it out, I'm gonna leave it good and flat, so uh, I'm headed back to the shop with this tractor. And then I'm gonna get my truck and I'll come back over there and I'll check on him and see how he's doing. But he looked like he was doing fine from a long ways off, but I'm gonna uh, actually walk out there and see exactly what he's done. So that's what's up next. Oh yeah, if you didn't watch the, um, the last video I put out, this tractor right here was having trouble running hot the engine water temperature and uh, I think we got that fixed because I ran for four hours this morning and it never ran hot it, it stayed about where it is right now which I'll show you that's about dead in the middle of uh, between hot and cold so I think it was just low on water Finally, we got enough water into it to where it was circulating properly. So, don't have to call the case man, we got it fixed. Well, I'll show y'all what exactly he's doing. Um, I guess y'all saw all the drone footage, but um, 
this is the way he's leaving the ground. It, it leaves it so nice and smooth. Um, we'll be able to plant, you know, just perfect right on top of this. But, I mean, this is one of our sandier fields, so it's going to leave this field looking really, really pretty. That was, uh, he's already made one pass, and now he's on his second pass. So th this is the second pass right here. And I'll show you while I got you. Walk right over here, and I'll show you this is what the first pass looks like. You can tell it's got, you know, some clods that didn't quite bust up. But, um... For the most part, you could plant right into this if you needed to, if you're in a hurry. But we got time, and um, it's good to do it right behind. Like you need the disc while the dirt's soft to come back behind the disc the same day with the rolling basket while Josh is running, so it'll really bust up those cl clods. And uh, and if you can go over it twice, if you need to, right behind each other. Uh, it'll it'll leave it even even more prettier um, but see like this hole right here like that's not what we want that, that's a little hole right there and if your planter was running right here you know it's gonna have a hard time putting the seed the correct depth so this is the way you want it right here Anyway, that's what Josh is doing. I've done all the discing I can do. This was the, it looks real dry here, but like I said, it's a real sandy field. And I did 70 acres right here. And the rest of the ground all around here is gonna be wet. So, uh, park the disc. Josh is gonna finish this up uh, this afternoon because we're expecting rain. I don't know if you saw the last video but i was worried about the rain washing the herbicide off uh yesterday when i sprayed the wheat we did not get rain last night uh but it is coming tonight so hopefully josh will get this smoothed out this afternoon which he should and then it can rain all at once so all right let's move on i'm going to head back to the look at there I'm gonna head back to the shop. Um, I may hook a tractor to a pair of till, which is another plow, and uh, I may get a tractor hooked up to one of those and come up here and play around with it and uh, see if the conditions are dry enough to run it. So, back to the shop. Well, you can scratch, scratch that idea of hooking up a pair of till. Um, Josh just called me and he had a bearing go out on the rolling basket. Better get two just in case. Alright, so I got two of these. We will head over there and see if we can put them on real quick and get him going. From what I remember, uh, he was Josh was covering the wheat in Autogaville the week before Thanksgiving and he had a bearing go out on it same same thing happened and uh, if I can remember correctly I don't think it was that hard to change so hopefully it'll be a quick fix well that was pretty much a quick fix uh, batteries and my GoPro were dead so I didn't get any footage of it but I'll show you the aftermath of what happened here's the bearing and as you can tell it is locked up it won't spin anymore there's the ball bearings anyway just just worn out um, 
this particular machine uh, or plow I should say we haven't replaced any bearings on it and until that one that went out in November so that tells me that the lifespan of these bearings are about to are about to end and it confirms it by the second bearing that's gone out on the plow good morning guys it is Thursday and it looks like it's going to be a rainy day today it hasn't rained too much uh, right now just kind of barely misting the rain is coming I don't know what time it's gonna get here but it is gonna to rain today so we're gonna hurry I didn't get to do what I want to do yesterday and that's take this tractor the 8320 and I'm gonna, I've got to unhook from the planter first and I'm gonna hook up to that pear till which is that bright yellow plow in the background anyway I'm gonna hook up to it and I'm gonna take it over there in the valley and just try to play around with it on some dirt and uh, basically just seeing if the dirt is dry enough to run uh, so that is the plan we're gonna hurry and see if we can get that done before it rains and uh, so come on let's go hooked up uh, the plow is ready to go and the reason I know that is cause, because we pulled our pair of tills in the shop um, about a month ago and uh, went through them got them all ready to go and I uh, actually painted them that's why they have that nice fresh coat of yellow paint safety yellow uh, so it's ready to go and I had another bonus today uh, the tractor was actually full of death and full of diesel so I didn't even have to go fill up with that but unfortunately it is starting to starting to rain a little harder so I'm heading over there anyway uh, maybe I'll just get at least one pass done or something but we're gonna try so here we go Well, we are plowing. All right, 
right I'll show you the plow and what it what it's meant to do and the design of it but this is a shank right here and that shank is curved because it goes the row is actually right here where my hand is and it's curved because it goes in and then it curves and gets right here where the row is so it's breaking all that dirt up that's right here where the row is it's busting it up on the ground about that deep oh 18 inches and the point of the coulter is cutting any kind of grass vines anything that can get wrapped up right here it's, it's chopping it where whatever was right there grass or weeds they'll just go to this side or that side if you didn't have this it would ball up right here with grass and weeds it would just and it would just uh, really tear up your seed bed um, where your next crop is gonna be but this is what it does out here in the in the field it basically goes through there it went in right here and then it curves and right up under this this row right here <clears throat> is real soft and sometimes when you're getting real uh, type of dirt that's more clay can be a lot of cloddy harder stiffer dirt um, it'll leave a little gap right here it'll raise this up and there'll be a gap where air can get down in there and dry out the soil we don't want that so what I like to do is after we repair till we run that rolling in rolling basket JM that we were using the other day just run it right on top and it just kind of mashes this down and kind of it doesn't mash it too hard it just seals the crack so no air can get down in there and dry it out it just kind of just barely mashes it down but you'll see how soft it is right where this row is right now and that's what you want you want it real soft under there with that next crop whatever plant will just be able to grow freely without any resistance uh, especially in cotton because it shoots the tap root way down 10 inches or so but I'm gonna make another pass it hasn't rained us out yet but I'm gonna make another pass and I'm gonna go get the J&M rolling basket and probably catch up to what I've done in case we do get a rain any second it still has not rained me out yet but it's rain all around as you can see behind me it's just kind of been coming in little waves but josh he's over here running i look behind him and see how he was doing and it looks perfect doing an excellent job Well, it finally rained. Um, it's wet now. Hadn't rained a lot, but it's too wet to do any more field work. So that is done for the day. And so I'm about to go home, pick up Thomas. And that is going to be it. So guys, glad you watched the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, if you'll hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And that is going to be it for this week, guys. See you next week. Thanks for watching.